Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Day two of dig stock. We're out here in this beautiful field. Sun's rising, and it looks amazing. It's very cold. The ground is still good. It's very diggable. It's not frozen like the air feels. But uh, we're going to go out, save some history, and we'll keep you posted. Day one was a fun day. And day two, hopefully, will be just as good, if not better. We'll see. So real quick before I show this most epic find, which is probably... The best find of the entire dig stock event especially as far as coins go um after the first day was done i met this gentleman adam inside the hotel uh from wisconsin that asked me he said hey did you guys find anything out there and uh me and my buddy glenn i was with he said yeah we found some buttons i found a u.s large scent um i found a beautiful um crotal bell and uh we had a pretty good day you know the first part of the day was very slow um and after lunch um, we wound up finding a good field that, you know, had some good stuff, pottery and glass and brick and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, really? I said, yeah. I said, you know what? Go to field 37. Because field number 37 was the only field that we did any good in, really. Um, so he took my advice, went down to, day, to field 37 on day two. And uh, about 10 feet from the crotal bell that I found on day one, which if you haven't seen day one, go check that out, please. Uh, day one was a great hunt too. And then, uh, you know, so on the beginning of day two, about 10 feet from where I found the crotal bell the day before, he found this epic coin. It's a wonderful piece of history to have. Um, and it's a valuable coin uh, and very rare. Uh, so I'm very happy for him, happy that he got it. I'm a little bit jealous, but I'm happy that he got it. And I'm very happy that it didn't get missed and stay in the ground up there. So um, Adam, if you're watching this, congratulations once again. Um, I'm really happy for you. And I hope that the rest of your uh, hunt went well. Um, so here it is, enjoy the rest of the video. So this is Adam. He's got something really special here in his hand that he just found in this field. We're gonna show you, check that out. This is thanks to Chris. He gave me the little uh, heads up yesterday and I uh, came here first thing in the morning. The second hole I dug. Second hole. I imagine that. Beautiful. $5 gold coin, correct? $2.50. Two, 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 two and a half dollar gold coin. Wow. Can we see the back of it? That is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Congratulations. Wow. Thanks, what Chris. a great find. Thank You're very welcome. Man. I'm happy for you. Wow. All right, I'm out here with Ben and Rebecca from the Main Dirt Sweepers. And a couple of friends here go for Gracie and his wife and Glenn. We've all been trying to hunt together as much as we possibly can, but uh, this area that we're in right now is an area that does not have a house site on the maps. However, Ben said, I found some buttons. And then Glenn just found an 1803 drape bust. And I just got a really nice 70 signal on the simplex. I don't know if it's a coin or a button. I think it's a button. It seems thin. No, this is definitely a coin of some sort. So I'm not going to rub it anymore. But we got... This is... It's thin. This could be uh, 1700s. I don't really know. I'll clean it up, put a picture up. But, oh man, I'm ecstatic about that. Woohoo! Got a coin in the clump here. I believe it's a coin. It could be a button. See what we have. Oh, there's Britannia. Def <laughs> definitely a coin, and that's Britannia right there. Let's see if we get this out in the sun. This wasn't even very deep at all, but I think we might be able to get a date off of this one. I'm gonna bring it over to Ben. Chris just got himself. British coin. Definitely, you can see awesome. Britannia here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The clump's still on it. You're more than welcome to pop it and see what oh, we got. I get the honor. All right. Oh, yeah, I see George of this on there, I believe. It looks like it. Tough to tell, but yeah. there'll be some detail there, I think. Yeah, definitely. I'm not yeah. going to dig on it too hard. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, sweet. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I'll invite you over here anyway. Tuesday. <laughs> One of the most wicked awesome dudes in the world. I was just wondering if you could see the, uh, wow. almost can see the bust on that side of it. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> nice and the dirt clump beautiful oh very nice we'll clean it up and uh put a picture up there just dug that 1700s coin right there king george and right on the surface right here we got a little flat button nice beautiful huh sweet well, i love a good surface find Wow. Just took a lunch break, made it back out, and I got something here. Something green. Oh no! Blah, blah, blah. Clad dime. I think we have another little button, little cuff button here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep, little flat cuff button. Let's bring it up a 55 on the simplex. Little shank there. Very nice, we'll take that. Keep moving along. So Glenn just called it, he said, I got another copper, I think. And check it out, there it is. Get out of here. What do we think it is, Digger? I don't Come know. Look at Digger. Let's see, let's take a peek at that thing. That's Britannia, that's want. Britannia right there. I could see the line right here. And that's where she's sitting. Definitely 100% Britannia. And we got another King George. I think I see George of us right here. Woohoo! Great find, brother. Thank you, Digger. There you go. Very nice. Wicked. Been a little while, but look at this. Another little tiny cuff button. Dang. Yeah. Oh, you're running the right thing. Yeah, it's got a nice the shank there. Awesome. Yeah, little flatty. Awesome. Awesome. We'll take that. Woo! We're all saving history in this field right now. Little by little, we're pulling out buttons and coins, some amazing relics, some great stuff. So everybody's over here because Glenn just found another KG. And guess what I just found? I don't really know, but look at that. It was just cranking right on the surface. Oh man, is that a drape bust? It was ringing up real high, so I think it's a US. Yup, it's a drape bust. Look at that. Beautiful drape. Oh, man. 1806 drape bust. I don't even know what the back looks like, but it's going to be nice, I bet. I'm going to leave it alone for now. Woo! Copper, copper, copper. Look at the, the dirt clump it was in. Wow, we are just pulling them out of this field. Glenn's got something here. Just popped out of the ground. We're going to find out together. That looks like it might be a silver or a half cent. Be careful. Oh, is that a tomback? Is it a coin or a button? That's got to be a half cent or something if it's a coin. You don't feel a shank on the back? Uh, that might be a shank. It might be a button. Oh, it's a button. It's a button. Beautiful it's a button. button, though. Hey, very nice find. Thank you, Saving sir. Saving history. Woo! So I just got another signal, 40s, 50s. I believe we have a button. Yes, we do. You got it. A nice little flat button. Nice. Yeah. Look at that, beautiful. Love my buttons. Well, I just found this rolled piece of lead of some sort. Well, it's not really rolled, I guess, but it's like a solid piece of lead with a hole through it on both sides. Not really sure what that would have been for, but pretty interesting find. The sun is definitely starting to slowly set. But look at this field, oh man. This field we have spent the entire afternoon in and right now have a count of about 10 or 11 coppers. I don't even know, a dozen to 15 buttons at least. Some great stuff in this field. So we'll go a little bit longer until the sun sets completely. Hopefully find some more stuff. Boy, the sun is going down fast now. We're just about done, but look at that view. And right about here, you can see the moon. Kind of, I just made it all blurry. There we go. But I just found what I think is another button right here in this little clump. Indeed it is. I tell you what, most of all the buttons that have come out of this field, oh, that one's got a little bit of gold on it too, a little bit of gold gilt on it. Most of the buttons that have come out of this field seem to have all had the shank. 
but that is beautiful look at that all right days winding down and definitely coming to an end of day two the last day of dig stock but we'll go a little bit longer try to save some more history well I think we just got another button yeah we sure did now it's got a shank on it still too I believe it's just bent over but wow amazing the buttons and coppers that have came out of this field it's just ridiculous so I just got that gold gilt button there and then I don't know it wasn't very far over here I got the second but another button and then I just want to show you this too because look in the clump I saw that before I found the coin now check it out right there I think that's gonna be another kg or something I'm not really sure what's on that but oh yeah there's Britannia beautiful beautiful another one unbelievable this is like 12 or 13 out of this field here crazy what this is bananas and I'm loving it just pick something else out here I don't know if it's a coin or button feels thin so it's probably a button Oh boy, that thing's got a lot of silver wash on it or something. Very interesting. We'll have to clean this up a little better. Get a better look at it, see what's going on. But I think it's a button with a missing shank, maybe. Nevertheless, another great find for this spot. Well, everybody, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other video from Digstock. Um, I'm on the ferry right now. On our way back, crossing Lake Champlain, saved some history, met some awesome people, got to dig with some great people, had an absolute blast. I can't wait to get home though and get to my family, and uh, it'll be about 5 hours and 15 minutes I'll be home, and it's going to be, I'm excited for it. Halloween tonight, I'm going to take the kids out, do some trick-or-treating, it's going to be a blast. So, thank you all very much, always for your support, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and we'll catch you very soon.